I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine. And I'm Miles Budimir, Senior Editor with Design World Magazine. And today we're here with Mario Mitchell to tell us a little bit about Parker's T-slot aluminum framing. Mario, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me today. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what we're, what we're working with today. So today we're going to be talking about Parker's T-slot aluminum framing product. And we have a couple series that uh, we like to categorize the product. We have a metric uh, versus an inch series. And today what I want to just show you quickly as far as how to connect these, because uh, we're going to have you guys do a little bit of a uh, building today for us, okay? I'm ready. We have two types of connectors I'm going to highlight today, which is a universal fastener. We have basically three parts to this. Okay. And then we have this, what we call a drop-in or roll-in T-nut. Okay. We're gonna take that and sort of thread that on there just a little bit here to get it started. And we're gonna put it into this universal slot. And the nice thing about this connector is you can take it, slide it into that T-slot there. Okay. I can tighten it down to form a 90-degree angle here at the very end mm -hmm. of the two connections. Or let's just say I want to have a shelf and I want to have the ability to adjust that shelf. What we're going to do is we can loosen that up. We can actually slide that down the slot. Then we can tighten it down again. So that's universal fastener. And think of universal being universally being able to be connected along any, any spot there along the slot. Right. So the next one I want to highlight is the standard fastener. And the standard fastener has the two pieces here. You have the screw and the standard fastening uh, plate here. And basically, it's going to go in the end of the profile, the threaded end of the profile here, as you can see right mm -hmm. there. I like to kind of get it started a little bit and thread it, start it with my hand, and you use an Allen wrench, just kind of get it going a little bit there. And we need to use what's called an access hole. And an access hole is gonna allow you to take that of course, take the, the standard fastening set and go through the T-slot, but it's going to allow you to access through that hole in order to tighten that right. standard right. fastening, right. okay? Mm -hmm. That standard fastener set. And then I just start to tighten it up. It's good. See, it goes together. Strong connection. And if I need to undo it, obviously, go through the access hole, loosen it up. There you go. T-slot aluminum framing is much more than just what we see here today. We see these small examples of profiles, but these can be used in industries such as life sciences, semiconductor, uh, markets or uh, applications such, such as safety, uh, lean as well. So think of enclosures around machines. Mm -hmm. Operators are in plants uh, throughout the day and they need to be able to access the machine, but they also need to be able to access the machine in a safe way. We need to make sure that we have those guards in place to protect the operator from the machine and certain things that are going mm -hmm. on. Right. So we can use this to build safety guarding around the machine. We have uh, panels and wire mesh that would go into the slots as well, so they can still see the operation of the machine, but still be protected from uh, various things that could potentially happen as the machine's going along. With that as well, we want to make sure that the product is accessible to lots of people. So not just the uh, mechanical engineers, uh, design engineers, but also some people may have some things to do around the house. So uh, cornhole games, I've seen people use this for <laughs> uh, ladder ball, just different wow. kinds of things even around the house, something in your garage. You want to build a table, a bench, <laughs> a cart, or something like that to move around uh, at the house or at, on, at the plant as well. Right. We're releasing a software, it's called the T-Slot Aluminum Framing Design Architect or the T-Slot Aluminum Design Architect. And that's gonna allow people to access the parts and be able to, to build certain things with that software. And it can take a uh, file and it can send that file to us to get quoted to uh, one of our local design centers as well. And it really gives you access to the product and allows you to be able to build and get that concept going because a lot of times, we had uh, people that would, let's say, put a napkin sketch. Like if you're out mm -hmm. somewhere meeting with a customer or just having a casual conversation, you grab a napkin to start sketching some things. But now we have a piece of software that allows you to just start to put those parts together, get that concept in your mind and visually see what's going on and builds your confidence too. It's like, mm -hmm. well, wow, I can put this together even if I've never worked with this before. Right. So mm -hmm. um, it really starts to bridge <laughs> that gap and allow the customer to really, really start to uh, get their hands and really get more into that design process. So <clears throat> what are Mike and I going to do? So today <laughs> we're going to have you build a table for us. 
And okay. so right. we have the inch series here. We have an inch and a half by inch and a half profile. And we also have metric series here as well. So we have our 30 series profile here. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna have you uh, take a look at the drawing here, which was produced by the Design Architect software. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna have you build a table just to see how quickly you can do it. Mm -hmm. All right. No pressure Interesting. at all. I'm ready. No pressure. You ready? All right. I want to highlight a couple ways that we deliver product from IPS or Parker t slot aluminum framing. Um, bulk material, which you, allows you to get the extrusion in full bars. Also bulk packs of accessories. Also, the product can be delivered as a kit, as we actually see here today, or an assembly, which once you're finished, you're going to have an assembly. So customers can have their product delivered in those those ways and whatever way would add value uh, to them. Miles, you got lucky. You're getting lucky. I don't know if it's luck, man. I don't think it's luck. I think it's called skill. <laughs> Superior skill is what it's called. So as they're building too, um, the mobility of, of this is important to highlight as well because it allows a customer to be able to take the assembly and put it in different areas of their location. And it also allows them to make adjustments as well. So if they wanted to maybe add something to this table, uh, they can do that by maybe ordering an extra piece of cut extrusion and allow them to add on to the ending assembly as well. See, it looks like he's winning. But, <laughs> but I really don't know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> Okay. See, I almost, I almost okay. hit Mario there. And that's the that, not, that would not be good. <laughs> not be good at all. Man, this is yeah. I uh, I had a lot of confidence coming into today, and uh, it might have been false. It might have been false confidence. I feel bad for my friend Mike. Should I? Man, should I stop? I think this might be the last shot I have it actually. Yeah, I don't know. It's not looking good for me here, guys. Don't say that. Believe. You gotta believe. All right, clear Here my hand. Have, or... We have a complete table. And I think it's sturdy. Very nice. Yep. You know, Miles has an engineering degree. Mine is in journalism, so I didn't want to make him look bad on camera. So I. Um, you are the best, Mike. I've actually been just taking it easy on him. I know it looks like I didn't, I'm not any good at this, but it's actually just you know. Like you are. For Miles' ego. You are a wonderful human. Being. I'm a kind. I'm a kind. Uh, you are. Editor. You are a very good human. I'm gonna get a close up of the of the winner right here. A celebratory shot. Yeah. Just a just a picture of Miles dunking on me. <laughs> oh, just like the classic. What is it? The classic uh, Jordan uh, poster. <laughs> oh. yeah. I think I just I just I think I just got T slot dunked on. Oh. I, that's it's it's not you know what. It's, I'm gracious in defeat. It has not been a great. Uh, and I'm gracious. It's been a great day for me today. I'm completely gracious. So Mario, uh, Miles, like I was telling you before, I said before we started filming that I am not good with putting anything together. I don't do this well uh, by nature. I knew I was gonna walk into some trouble um, against Miles on this. But like I was telling Miles, I mean, you probably put that together in what three, four minutes. I know. Uh, yeah, I don't and know. maybe me it took probably about eight to ten. For somebody that's not good at this, it kind of says something about the ease of use for the product. I mean, yeah. uh, like I said, I'm I'm not an engineer. I'm a journalist. I'm a word nerd. So if I could do this in that that amount of time, that's pretty good. Totally, it's very so. good. I guess lastly, Mario, um, can you tell people about where they can find more about the T-Slug product from Parker? Sure. So you can go to parker.com slash IPS for all things with the Parker uh, T-Slot aluminum framing product and also for the design architect, you can go to parker.com slash design architect, all one word. All right. And of course, for more videos like this from Design World, you can go to designworldonline.com.